Okay, here's a small update. Um, currently don't have this connected to anything for the serial, but uh, I think this little fellow here has been running for some 30 something hours. The green LED, and actually, funny enough, this is actually in quite dark. It's uh, automatically uh, seems to be adjusting to the light, but it's actually uh, daylight, but um, it's quite darker in here than what's showing up on camera, so hopefully this uh, crumbs through all right. The nice thing is though, it lets you actually see the LEDs um, quite well. The green LED can be switched on and off from the web page that the uh, ESP is hosting. Oh, it lost focus. There we go. The green LED can be um, switched on and off um, from a web page that is being hosted by the uh, ESP8266. And the red LED is actually part of the heartbeat routine and I found actually adding something to the main loop that just takes a tiny amount like I don't even know I guess that flashes for uh, 125 milliseconds or something like that its duty cycle is I think two seconds overall so it's whatever the split down of two seconds is but anyhow adding something to the main loop has majorly increased the stability of the uh, the advanced um, uh, DHCP sketch, or, or anyhow, the one that allows you to set up a domain. Um, and uh, I've also made it so that during that loop, every two seconds, it updates um, a set of uh, integers in a, uh, an array that um, changes what comes out on the, uh, I guess it's a, an SVG file it serves. So it's actually serving a web page in an SVG file. But uh, right now it seems to be alright as long as only one person tries to connect at a time and you don't demand too much of it. Um, I've also found that of course having these leads floating has triggered a few resets on the board. But uh, um, as long as I'm careful with that it doesn't really reset. But anyhow, um, I haven't really changed too much with it. There's just a couple test leads I had there. Things I want to do next is down on the end of the uh, ESP8266. If this is a D instead of an E, those two spare or extra GPIO in the bottom center um, should allow me to uh, access them as I think GPO 9 and GPO 10. And um, if that's the case, that'll be cool. But if it's a true E, um, they won't work unless you actually put it into external STD, SD boot mode. And uh, I haven't really got into that yet. But so far it's doing exactly what I need. And uh, what you can't see in that nest of wires there is a little, there's a little switch there, a simple switch, that's um, representing uh, what will be actually a magnetic read switch for the door. And I will probably add a couple more um, detector switches for uh, um, the deadbolt and whatnot. Should be pretty interesting. But anyhow, I'm going to pause this and we're going to go uh, have a look at the web page. Okay, so we're just going to continue on here. Um, as you can see, it's uh, what 38 hours of uptime, and that funny little line there. And unfortunately, this might get a little bit bumpy. That funny little line in the um, SVG graph. Yeah, this is going to get a little bit bumpy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, is based on whether the door switch is open. Turn the LED off, and you'll see here in about a second. Um, the web page up is set to auto refresh every five seconds, but the samples are taken every second. Oop, LED on. Let me make sure I turn the LED off. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so the LED was sent off, and um, it uh, is simply going to. Uh, an IP that only works from inside the house. <laughs> but as you can see there, um, it's still high because the door contact is set high. But um, it gives a little bit of a, a recent history. And that's just, I think, 38 integers that are feeding the value instead of the random in the, in the, original, um, the original sketch. And it seems to be pretty stable now, and it's been about 38 hours since I started it, so um, it's working pretty good now. And again, all I really did was add um, a little 
a little something to loop uh, to give it something to do. So if you hold on a second there, I'm just going to bring that up. Okay, so this is the uh, advanced web server uh, sample, as you can see here, uh, Majenko Technologies. Um, uh, that's their copyright. Um, anyhow, it comes with the uh, board manager, or what the board manager downloads when you download the 8266 for uh, the newer Arduino, the Arduino 165. Now I'm just going to pause again where I skip over my actual router settings and whatnot. Okay, I'm hoping it's going to pick this up here fine. Unfortunately, it still might shake a little bit. But um, here we have a, like a little history, and it's just uh, 36, 38 integers, which is the number of data points that were in the original SVG um, uh, sample. And uh, here you can see it can clear it, or you can shift a new value in. Um, that just handles, um, that's pretty much the basic code. I've added a few things to change the um, page to uh, be able, the page it hosts to be able to work with the buttons needed, such as the LED over here and that. Um, that's not too, too complicated for those of you that know HTML, so I'm not going to get too far into that. What I want to do is get down to the loop. Yes, the main loop, the test pulse. Um, test pulse is this function right here, and it um, controls just flashing a little light, and then it shifts history. And just doing this little bit of a job has greatly increased the stability, as long as there was actually something to do in the loop besides the MDNS and the server handle client. It seems to make a big difference. So uh, there's that there. I might uh, be able to put this up here someplace, the code up someplace, in a, in a little bit. Uh, I just got to figure out where my hosting set up for that. But anyhow, uh, that's the update on the 8266 uh, project so far. I got to work on uh, getting some read relays and whatnot, or sorry, some read switches, and uh, figure that out how I'm going to actually install in the door. The actual door installation, though, um, I won't be showing. I'll actually just show the uh, the um, effect after. Because I don't exactly need people to be seeing what uh, what I exactly have installed. <laughs> it is a real door, and it will be the real monitoring system for it. Anyhow, um, as usual, thanks for watching.